Hi, my name's Mike. I'm co-author of the book, Frugal You, 365 Ways to Save Money and Time. And today I'm going to show you how you can heat your swimming pool with nothing more than a piece of copper pipe and a garden hose using Bernoulli's Principle. First, 10 seconds of theory. Bernoulli's Principle clearly states that if a fluid is moving across an object, it will cause a low pressure zone across that object. In other words, if you had a tube and you blew fluid, meaning water or air, across that tube, it would cause suction on that tube. The fluid that we're going to use is going to be the return hose that's sending the water back into the pool. You'll notice that I have clamped the copper pipe in position right in front of the outlet. And if I put my hand there, you'll see there's a fair bit of water flowing. A lot of water flowing. And it's clamped there temporarily. And that pipe is connected to the garden hose. If you follow this hose, you'll see it connects and goes back and forth across the lawn. I've got about a hundred feet of garden hose going back and forth collecting the sun's heat and it goes right into the pool right here and it sucks the water from the bottom of the pool the coldest part if you use this method you might want to move the hose when you cut the lawn you can see that this has just been clamped together temporarily just for testing purposes I did a little bit of plumbing and I made myself a permanent mount as you can see, this is mounted on a piece of wood and I'm going to install it right now in front of your very eyes. Put it on like this. It hooks on to the side rail and then to get the tube into the water, we just push down here like this. As you can see, this can go down and the tube is now inside the water. The way you can tell if it's in the right position is by moving it along and seeing where the most amount of air gets sucked through the tube. Remember, at this point, I don't have anything connected to the tube. I don't have my hose connected yet. So you position this where there's the most amount of air, and that would be where your maximum suction would be. Now I'm going to mount a bracket on here, so I'm sure that this won't pivot. The tube will stay in the right place. My next step will be to mount the garden hose back on again, fasten the clamp in place, and now we're ready to test it. I'm going to use a Fluke Model 52 digital temperature meter to measure the incoming temperature and the temperature of the pool. I'm going to put a temperature probe up into that pipe to see what the temperature is coming into the pool. The actual temperature sensor is the tip of this wire and there are two probes on this meter. You can see the temperature of the pool is 75 degrees. Now if I change this, the temperature coming into the pool through that hose is 87.8 degrees. Quite a differential.